Hey guys, what's up? Happy Thursday. It is me, Fatima. And if you're new around here, just now joining me, my name's Fatima. I'm a glamour boudoir and branding photographer in Columbia, South Carolina. I help real everyday people look and feel like celebrities live their best life and fall in love with who they are. So without further ado, let's get into it. I'm out here on location today, on a secret location. On a secret. I always love being in the city, so yeah, that's where I'm out here today. Today's talk is going to be super short for a couple of reasons. One, because I'm out here like it's summer, but it's freaking cold AF. <laughs> and then two, I have hella phone calls to make after this, so yeah, we're going to get to work. But the reason why I'm out here is because it has to do with self-care. Oh my gosh, hey Kristen! I freaking love her. All right, because it has to do with self-care. Guys, I think it is so important to be able to get out of your comfort zone, get out of where you are normally surrounded by, especially during the day, so you can see the daylight and just be inspired by your surroundings. Vitamin D is super important, um, especially someone who used to struggle with like having low moods and stuff like that. It really helps to be out in the sunshine. So that's my little tip for the day. You just got to make something new happen. Hey, Bree, what's up? So yeah, I encourage you guys to get out and get in the sun and do something new especially during the day change your surroundings like go someplace new i don't want to hear these excuses about why you can't do it you can definitely go down the street and go somewhere new so that's a little self-care tip but no what we're talking about today actually has to do with some girl talk that i want to talk about because y'all y'all will not believe what my mama said to me yesterday and this is like no shade against my mom but it was like really really funny to me because i realized like for the first time like wow I'm at a new level, new level, new devil. And this has nothing to do with anything, but I had on like this FedEx truck. All right, so I had on this super cute lipstick today, but then I ate Chick-fil-A and now it's not there anymore. So I just wanted to say that anyways. So anyways, um, yeah, back to what my mama said to me. Uh, bro, so she slid into my DMs, right? Y'all know that cute behind video I posted yesterday when I'm eating my ice cream because y'all know I'm obsessed with eating ice cream. That's why I'm exactly where I'm at right now because it's the middle of the day and I'm about to buy some ice cream because I think that's totally self-care and it's what I like to do. I feel like a kid and I feel free, so like I like to do that. So that's what I'm about to do. Anyways, my mom slid into my DMs. <laughs> she slid into my DMs and she was literally like oh my gosh are you pregnant because you look thicker for some reason i need you guys to drop down a heart if anyone has ever said that to you please drop down a heart because i know this happens to every woman ever and maybe we just don't talk about it but has someone ever commented on your weight or your body type or something like that and the reason why i want to hop on here and talk about it is because i'm not mad at her but because there used to be a time where someone saying something like that would super like offend me or bother me or make me feel some sort of way so I want to come on here and talk about it because I know it happens to us girls all of the freaking time so I just wanted to talk about you know how I overcame it and how like it really didn't bother me at all so let's talk about it girls I literally think we are the higher species because we have to deal with so much random crap and it can be like these little comments that people think wouldn't affect us um, but at the end of the day the great great thing is I have a really healthy self-esteem so that didn't bother me at all but I do know there would be once upon a time if someone would say hey Fatima like are you pregnant because you look thicker for some reason um that would really bother me because I'd be like oh my god am I fat so anyways listen this is what I want you guys to realize y'all know I photograph women literally all of the time right and the craziest thing that I have realized I have literally met women in the last week because y'all know I was in Miami photographing all the beautiful beautiful babes and like oh my gosh so pretty and I have literally met like in particular this one woman who is super awesome she looks super gorgeous coming to her photo shoot and then afterwards she was like yeah I really stepped out of my comfort zone and wore shorts today because I never really wear them and I'm like wow why and she's like I just don't really like my legs or my thighs or something like that and I'm like that's insane because I was looking at her the whole shoot and I just thought she must look like this all of the time because she's freaking killing it oh my god everyone's on hey Olivia hey Brian hey Ryan oh that rhymes all right anyways so um 
I was like, wow, you look gorgeous. You must wear this all the time. And she's like, no, I never wear shorts because I don't like my legs. So that is just one very small example of how us women always have to go um, through like these freaking stereotypes or these like constantly like these levels that we have to reach and when it comes to our bodies. And you know what I've realized? I think society has just taught us to not like the way that we are and we always nitpick things about ourselves. And when you look at it really like other people in the world are not thinking these same things about us. So what I realized is our own opinion and the way that we feel about ourselves women, the only person who can find define that for you is you. And I know this for a fact because I photograph women all of the time. And you guys know I specialize in boudoir. You know what that means? A lot of girls come in my studio and they get naked straight naked and there's people I'm like everyone I see is just like beautiful so it's so interesting to see there have been people in my studio who have had what's called like maybe model bodies and even people with like perfect bodies and society standards they all do the same thing they're like oh I don't like this I don't like this I don't like this you know what I mean so that's what taught me like it's literally not that there's something wrong with us it's literally just that we are perceiving that there's something wrong with us but it may and most likely is not true but who is going to define what who's that true for like if it's your body you have to make a stand and be like bro you have to make a stand about what's acceptable to you what do you like do you like the way you look you know what I mean so I said that when my mom said that yesterday I'm in such a different place when she was like are you pregnant uh because you look thick and I'm like no I'm not pregnant I'm never having another kid um I just eat ice cream all of the fucking time and so it's like it really didn't bother me because we get so like caught up on being fat or skinny you guys know I have been every weight you could be in um college I used to work out all the time I got super skinny because I thought only guys would like me if I was skinny that shit didn't work because people were like you're too skinny and then I had kids and then you know I was super depressed because I just stayed in the house all the time gained a shit on a weight no one cared then because I just I locked myself out of society and now like I don't know I just like like myself and so what I realized like it really has less to do with what weight you are and more to do how you feel about yourself because when I was trying to fit other people's molds they were like oh you're too skinny you're too this so it's like ladies if I can tell y'all anything it's like hmm who are we trying to be good enough for the only person you need to be good enough for is yourself so what that means is if you want to go on a health journey and if you want to lose weight or if you want to do that you should do that but if you don't want to you don't have to i'm so fucking tired of this diet culture why are we so obsessed with losing a pound losing five pounds like literally one day we're gonna die our body's gonna rot in the earth what the fuck does five pounds even really mean the only reason why we think it has meaning is because we live in this world that is like oh you should fit this clothes you should be able to walk into a store and fit this who can the fuck what these sizes in the store are like they should be called different things they should just be called like tall or like koala bear you know that's what the sizes should be made so we can stop trying to fit ourselves like into a size and be defined as like oh am I small am I plus size am I extra large like who cares everyone's body type is so different literally my body type is pretty petite but I have to wear like bigger shirts because do you guys see my titties like I cannot help that it's like this so it's like why do we get so caught up in this honestly at the end of the day it doesn't matter so I came on here to tell you guys I don't know if anyone's ever told you that before but it doesn't matter the only thing that matters is if you're comfortable with my body and I'm so happy I have this mindset now because people be coming at me uh not very often but like people from the old school so like my mom and other people will be like oh are you gaining weight and I'm like we don't do that in my house okay like why do we think it's acceptable when you see somebody just to comment on their weight like we're subconsciously teaching people like that's your measure of value or how you're to be seen and like I just don't engage in that and I'm like I don't care what weight I am I don't I give zero fucks I'm not here to like be a certain weight so people will like me people will like me if I'm bigger they'll like me if I'm smaller you know why because I like myself so that's where that comes from like if you're just whole and if you like yourself like bro like everything that is happening to you comes from you so if you feel like you're going out in the world and people like aren't liking you you just got to love yourself more you know that's what that's reflecting back to you so yeah, forget all this noise that people are saying. I just thought that was super funny because I was like, no, mom, I'm not pregnant, you crazy girl. I love my tummy. I think it's super cute and it feels good. So I'm like, bro, I don't give a fuck. Anyways, and I thought that was super cool because at one time I would 
be like, oh my gosh, am I fat? Like, bro, everyone has fat on their body. That's what we need to realize. Everyone on the planet has fat on their body. That does not mean you are fat. I'm not fat. I'm a woman. I'm just a human being on earth, just enjoying enjoying my life here. That's what I am. Okay, so don't let other people's insecurities bother you. Don't let them get to you because at the end of the day, you're the only person who defines who you are. You are not your weight. You are not what size shirt you fit in. You are just a human on earth enjoying yourself. And that's why I'm fully like, bro, just be yourself. Do whatever you like to do and find your voice and your passion and just go after that because that's what we're here for, to be ourselves. And that's the most valuable thing you can give to you, the earth when you're not like a cookie cutter version of yourself because you're always trying to fit into someone else's opinion of you. When you can just be pure purely yourself that really frees you up to be more available for other people because now you're not focused on other people's opinions and you're not like oh no what are they thinking of me you can just walk into a room and be like hey guys I'm here how can I help you like what's that you know what I mean so that's super cool people think self-love and self-care can be like selfish bro how like if I'm taking care of myself fully that means that I'm fully available to take care of you because I'm not worried about me I'm good because I take care of myself and then that's so great because then now you're not looking for validation no one can't tell you anything because everything comes from you so if you don't like someone something that someone's saying it's like deuces that's not the truth that is just something random and stupid that you believe and that sucks to suck I've been surrounded by so many people and literally every day it's like oh weight loss weight loss I'm too fat da, 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 da. what are you saying like just like yourself and it's funny and ironic like people who think like that if you reflect in every other area of their life they're also struggling and they also don't like or are satisfied in that so I love that because just once you like love yourself and you're living for yourself and to satisfy yourself and through your own opinions and experiences it just frees you up to um, love every other aspect of your life. But anyways, I got to hop off here because I got to make these calls. But I'm going to do some shout outs here. See what y'all saying. Olivia dropped the hearts because, yeah, we're a woman and we've all been commented on about our weight. But we're not doing that shit anymore. You know why? Because you know what we learned today? We don't care. We like ourselves. So y'all can kick rocks. Frankie said facts. Yes, Frankie. Thank you. That guy voice over here. <laughs> Michelle said I'm rectangle size. Right? You're something. You're human size. All right, Kim. Oh, my God. I love you, Kim. Hey, what's up, girl? All right. Other than that, I got to hop off here because I got to call some people and book all the photo shoots and photograph you guys so I can show you how pretty you are so you don't have to take my word for it. You can just see it yourself. And you can be like, oh, my gosh, I never knew I was this cute. Why was people convincing me that I was ugly? And then I'll be like, yeah. They were telling you a lie and don't believe it. And now you see it. So I love you guys and I will talk to you soon. Okay. Love you guys. Bye.